Former President Donald Trump is bashing Nikki Haley as a bird brain. He said that the MAGA movement would never go for her because she has no loyalty and plenty of lies. And Nikki Haley is leaning in. She shared a screenshot of his Truth Social post calling her a bird brain with the caption, love this. This all happened after the second GOP presidential debate in California, where Nikki Haley made a splash. And Donald Trump soon took that online nickname into the real world when his campaign found Nikki Haley's hotel room door and left a bird cage and real bird food in front of it in the middle of the night. Haley leaned into the nickname again and posted the picture with the hashtag pretty pathetic try again and hashtag you just made my case for me. Haley's taking it in stride. She said that Trump's attacks on her are a sign that she's in second place and moving up fast. We should note that Trump actually nominated Nikki Haley to serve as U.S. ambassador to the United Nations in 2016 when he was the president. Haley's campaign called the birdcage move creepy, but here's why it's not all bad. Veteran Iowa strategist David Kochel told The Messenger that if you're the Haley campaign, you'd rather get attention from the former president than be ignored by him. It's all good news, provided you can stand up to the attack. Trump has turned his attention to Haley as she starts to perform well in the GOP primary debates and in some GOP primary polls. There were two recent polls of New Hampshire, that crucial first in the nation primary state that campaigns count on for momentum, that showed Haley actually moving ahead of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been in second place but has been struggling in the polls recently. When it comes to Donald Trump and some of his political tricks, Kochel said that being an asshole is kind of the point. He pointed out Donald Trump's ties to the WWE, that professional wrestling franchise, and said that the way he operates in the primary is sort of similar. He said that these ridiculous storylines and stupid attacks and nicknames and grudges and beefs and whatever are not a healthy way to conduct a democracy, but, you know, it's Trump. Trump was far ahead of the rest of the primary field in a new national poll from Insider Advantage released this week, but that poll also showed Haley nearly moving into second place with Ron DeSantis. The person who conducted that poll, Matt Towery, called them, quote, the only remaining viable candidates running against Donald Trump. DeSantis has struggled in New Hampshire polls, but he's stronger in Iowa, that first in the nation caucus state, and it seemed like he was able to give his campaign a boost at the second GOP debate in California. According to a poll of Republican voters who watched the debate, most of them said that DeSantis seemed to be the one who performed the best, while Nikki Haley was ranked as the second best performance. And don't expect this dynamic to go away anytime soon. The DeSantis and Haley campaigns are expected to pitch Republican mega donors next month on why either of them should be considered the Trump alternative in the primary and boosted with GOP donor money.